All right, Sam, let's get to work. Uh, welcome to my restaurant. My name is Samar Santana, uh, chef owner of Broadway by Amar Santana in Laguna Beach. I grew up in the Dominican Republic, uh, moved to New York when I was uh, only 13 years old. Um, been out here in California for about seven years now. Okay. Oh. Wow. Wow. Uh, according to my family and my brother and everybody that was close to me, I started cooking when I was seven years old uh, in the Dominican Republic, but I never saw it as a career. Uh, it's one of those things that I always had the palate. I always like to do put things together, but never as a career. And it wasn't until I got to the United States um, that I started, you know, watching TV, seeing Emerald, Mario Vitali, you know, doing, you know, cooking on TV. So I, then I thought, oh, you know what? Sounds pretty cool. I know how to cook, and I want to be like those guys one day. Wait, open, 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 open! No, nah, you're not gonna see any fire. You're not gonna see anything. That's not real cooking. I actually hate that, but we're not gonna see that right now. I was part of this program called CCAP. Uh, they help uh, kids to get scholarship to go into the cooking business. So I ended up getting a full tuition scholarship to go to the CIA. Um, after a year, I did my internship at Oriol restaurant in New York City uh, under Chef Charlie Palmer. Um, then after that, I went back to school, finished, came back, and uh, at the age of 21, I became sous chef at Oriol New York, which is one of the biggest accomplishments in my career. Okay. What's my sprouts? Coming down, chef. Oh, come on. Perfect. Thank you. All right, Annie, come get your lamb, please. So I was, I was a sous chef at Oriol for uh, four years, and uh, Charlie offered me a job to move out to Southern California uh, to open Charlie Palm and Bloomingdale's. So I moved out here. Uh, opened a restaurant for him, and I was there for three years. And uh, three and a half years ago, I met a partner in the restaurant that wanted to do a restaurant with me. So that's where all Broadway by Mar Santana came along. See how much money you spend on water when you have a restaurant? $800. Do you think it was cheaper because it's close to the beach? This is pretty much part of my day. Um, every day, same routine. Wake up in the morning, go to the gym, work out. I started working out, because unlike, unlike most chefs, you know, I, don't want, I want to be in shape, I want to be healthy. That way I could work faster, I could make better food, and I could eat more, for sure. Uh, so far, down 46 pounds, I was 300 pounds nine months ago. Three. <laughs> Cooking is a lot easier, that's for sure. But cooking makes you fat. This doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> See how hard I'm working? This is how I'm gonna take, this is how I'm gonna take everybody down in the competition. It is a discipline thing. Because you need to put your mind into it, just like when you're cooking or creating a dish. Okay? This is not easy working out every day, trying to stay healthy, single work, seven days a week, but it's doable. So this is my typical day, workout, every day, pretty much. Uh, usually get my coffee, go home, take a shower, go to work for another 12 hours, do what I do, prep, cook, answer emails. This is my life, seven days a week. This shit sucks, but this is the sacrifices I have to make to eat the way I want to eat and cook the way I cook. Usually take a little break before service, come in here to cool off a little bit, write some recipes. And with this view, I mean, you can't beat this. Before service, I just come here, you know, get ready for the five o'clock rush, uh, write recipes down, some ideas, just, just like relax for an hour. I, I gotta all update my social media. Uh, nowadays, social media is very, very important, um, especially when you have a restaurant. You know, like with me, like I, I would do a special, I would do a dish or something going on on the weekend. You know, I get white truffles in, I get 
foie gras when it was illegal, I would send a tweet or post a picture on Instagram and tell people, hey, I have foie gras today. And right away, I've got 20, 30 people coming to the door here asking for foie gras. Um, I'm going to prepare uh, one of my pork belly dishes. Pork is my favorite thing to cook, my favorite thing to eat. It's everybody that knows me and knows my cooking, they say Amar Santana, they say pork. And out of pork, they say pork belly. I always have pork belly on the menu since I moved to Orange County seven years ago. I am so passionate about pork and cooking that uh, my last day at Oriel, New York, they all collected money and they gave me, uh, they bought me a tattoo thinking that I wasn't gonna get it because everything I did was pork related. So they gave me a tattoo, they gave me a certificate. So this is what I got. Okay, so my tattoo, it has all the pig's parts in case I forget. Head, belly, shoulder, legs, you name it. Just in case I forget. So uh, growing up in the Dominican Republic, you know, um, we grew, I, I grew up very poor. I just knew that whatever I did as a career to support my family and everybody was gonna be the best I could be at it. I'm ready, I'm coming for you. Whoever you are, I don't care if you're better than me or worse than me. Whoever you are, I'm coming. I'm taking you down in the competition. I'm a different kind of chef. I like to cook what I like to eat. You know, most restaurants, um, especially when you're just a chef or a sous chef, you can never do what you want. You have to do what corporate asks you to do. In my situation, because this is my restaurant, I get to do, I get to put on the menu what I want, what I like to eat, and that's, you know, people trust me, and that's why they keep coming here. I love, I, I love competition. I love the challenge. I, I love to show what I could do, and I'm very competitive. I feel like I'm better than everybody, even though I'm not, or I might be. I just, every time I compete, I go against somebody. I just do what I do. That's it. So we have crispy pork belly, uh, broccoli puree, uh, black bean miso caramel, pickled roasted carrots, and fava leaves. With a dish like this, no one, no one, I'm telling you right now, no one could take me down this competition. When I look for when, I, when I'm hiring a chef, it's, it's attitude, okay? It's attitude. You have the right attitude to be here, you hire. You know, and less experience, the better. What's the right attitude? The right attitude is like when they come in here, they said to me, chef, I don't know anything. I want you to teach me. I want to learn. I want to work with you. Perfect. You know, sometimes you have the other kind of cooks out there that they come in and they say, oh, I worked at this place. I went to this school. I was the chef here and I was this and I was that. And they know everything. It's harder for, you know, for me to teach them my style and to work in my kitchen when they already act like that. But if they have the right attitude, they just want to be here, they want to work with me, and it's so much easier. So I'd rather hire somebody with no zero experience and I could teach them everything from zero to something until they become cooks and sous chefs and chefs. Okay. Like do, do the crostini, spread the riette, cornichon, whatever salad, maybe something sweet, okay. like a sweet marmalade or something. Gotcha. Sam! Sam! When you do this, put a rack. Put a rack in between. Yes. So everything gets seared. So the top and bottom is seared, not steamed. Wait. I know. Just a little thing. That's, that's how I started in my career. I went into a kitchen. I said, I want to be a chef one day. Teach me, show me. I'll learn how to cook. Someone took me under their wings and, okay, here's a knife. He is an onion, he is this, so I started from the bottom, now I'm here. I want to win this competition because I, I want to show everybody that nothing was handed to me. I have to work hard for what I have, and I'm only 32, and uh, I already have my own restaurant, I'm opening another one. So I just want to, you know, I just want to show everybody that I'm like, I've gotten where I am because I'm a good cook. I'm very competitive. I'm always up for a challenge. I'm not scared to do this. I'm like, I'm up for anything. Um, it's, it's a challenge that I, I, I'm doing for myself. Um, it, it, would, it would let me know how good I am as a cook and how good I work in the kitchen. I also wanna do it for all my friends, all my family, uh, my partners in the restaurant, everyone that knows me, I, I think I owe this one to them. You know, it's, it's time for me to like, I know opening a restaurant was a stepping stone, doing another one, but like, oh, when is the competition would be the icing on the cake for me.